Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy SB, also Sabanet, or Alex. And today I've got a new video for you. And today uh, we've got Yu-Gi-Oh! engines I don't agree with. So there are certain engines that people use in decks to like uh, really give their decks a heavy boost. So these are the engines that I really, really dislike. And I just have, I really think it's just unfair for the game and really just not just not fair altogether so let, without further ado let's go straight in so firstly we've got tour guide of the underworld and tour guide engine has now been dealt with and the card is at one but before she was limited was absolutely bullshit the way that it was just abused really nicely in um in uh what's it called burning abyss when first release was absolutely disgusting the way you could just like normal summon it special summon a fiend type from your deck and it all hand and just go into an instant play is was just absolutely beyond me. I don't know how this card got through design without uh, people thinking it's going to be completely fair and not even needing to be hit. This engine was absolutely bullshit. However, because it's been, uh, what's it called, uh, hit and it's all sorted, there's not really much to say about it. So without further ado, let's look at the next one. Now we've got Speedroid Terror Top. Ah, uh, this, this engine is a complete problem at the moment and there's actually not much you can say uh to back it up saying that it's a fair engine because the problem with it is the fact that you're able to special summon a, a generic rank three in this case you could have something like a levia a dante and even an invulca which to be honest will make these fuckers even more stronger which we do not want so that is the main problem with terror top it makes generic rank threes uh extremely extremely quickly without even needing to use your normal summon so you could make a rank three and just even go into a different play after that it only requires one terra top as well which is absolutely stupid instant rank three with one card hmm that that's totally fair isn't it so that is why we've got speed road terra top here it's just absolutely stupid to have a, um as an engine it's really unfair next up we've got instant fusion and elder entity norden now this is at the moment one of the most controversial uh engines that is used at the moment like when uh instant fusion and when norden was uh released i was thinking yeah he's he's gonna be pretty good he's gonna be very very strong uh until i actually realized he's a bit too strong and people start thinking yeah but you have to pay a price to get a norden out and all that sort of shit you have to pay 1000 life points i mean like i'm gonna be honest to get Norden out, you have to be playing Instant Fusion or even Polybert to get a Synchro Monster or an XYZ. <laughs> I don't think anyone's going to be using that. But you can just get Instant Fusion, pay 1,000 life points, Special Summon Norden fr um, from your extra deck. And I... That is okay to summon, but Norden's effect, just to be able to Special Summon from the Graveyard, a level 4 or lower, and negate its effects for free... I don't agree with altogether. If it had a cost of, say, like, I don't know, discard two cards or pay a thousand life points or something like that, then I'd be absolutely fine with that. In fact, that would still be kind of more broken, but um, at least it would have a cost. This has no cost and only really requires one card, which is Instant Fusion. Instant Fusion just brings Norden out from the extra deck in, and Norden goes into uh, anything. And to be fair, like, you can go into a Synchro play uh an xyz rank four play and to be fair let's be honest right when i first saw the card i was thinking yeah it's a very very strong card it's a very strong card uh, and it's probably not going to be abused in so many decks and by far was i fucking wrong i was looking at it in mermails satellas and now even in abc and then i just realized fuck me this card is everywhere so now after thinking about it this card really is stupid for the game and it's just as an engine that you can use in any rank 4 deck or level 4 deck is beyond bullshit so honestly i really don't agree with this engine uh that is mainly it for the engines that i don't agree with but you might be thinking hold on why the hell did brilliant fusion and seraphinite not hit the list now here's the reason why and this is going to be um a bit interesting because this might sound a bit biased because I do love my brilliant fusion. But firstly, let's talk about Gemini Seraphonite. Seraphonite is a rank, is a level five fusion monster. 
and similar to Norden, it is an extra deck monster, but it's very different because the main thing is it must be summoned, must be summoned with um, uh, by using the materials. Like it has, you have to use a gem light monster and a light monster. And in all honesty, that's probably going to be a Garnet and a Fairy Tale Snow or even a Trick Clown or something like that. So that is the main thing with Seraphonite. You have to use the um, the materials, but then Brilliant Fusion you have to open up, you have to open the Brilliant Fusion and not open these two, because if you open up a Gem Knight Garnet or, or whatever Gem Knight you're using in a Fairy Tale Snow, Brilliant Fusion becomes useless because you can't even use it, because you have to be able to summon, um, you have to be able to use those materials from the deck, not from the hand or field, right? So these become dead, this becomes dead, and can force you to brick very quickly, which is why Brilliant Fusion and Seraphonite is not on this list, because overall you can brick, and it's pretty fair when you think about it. You can you can brick, you have to have um, be using other cards, and just isn't really much of a big deal. It boosts up decks really well, and I like that, because like there are so many decks that are currently kind of dead. Like, before... Until they get their support, which is coming out very soon, Fluffles really like to use Brilliant Fusion. It's very strong. Super Quantums, uh, Shiranui, as you've probably seen. Um, like these, these sort of decks require this card because it really gives it an influence, a huge buff that's actually very fair and can actually make you brick. So that's why Brilliant Fusion and Seraphonite are not on this list. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and leave a comment below. Subscribe for more and tell me what, you know what, tell me. In the um, in the comment section, tell me what you think about uh, the, this list. Do you agree with it? Do you disagree with it? And just put that in the list. And I'll hopefully try and respond to you. Anyways, you've been your boy SB, Sosa Bennett or Alex, and I'll see you guys later.